Well, you know, I think the first thing is, is that I, I had to kind of convince myself it was actually showing me data that I could use. And, and I do the same thing with any kind of sonar or fish finding product. You know, it's going to show me things. Can that help me with my fishing? So the first thing I did was just spend a lot of time driving around with the unit, looking at things above the water that I knew extended below the water and make sure I could figure out, yeah, it's showing me that. That's what it looks like. Here's, here's what the bottom should look like and really convince myself, boy, this thing really is giving me a different view of what's happening down below the water. Then once I convinced myself of that, I started going to spots that I knew held fish and started looking at them. You know, did those spots have rock rubble on them? Did they have uh, a particular kind of weed, you know, uh, real fine weed in it? Did it have little indents in the bottom or something in the structure that was different? Because walleye fishermen, a lot of what we do is find spots. You know, we don't just go out and, and try and catch fish or really, we do pattern them, but one of the big patterns is, is finding the spots where they're living. So this quickly let me find new spots for walleyes, you know, to find walleyes in. Well, I think so. I, I think it's just like anything though, it's gonna take a little time because it is a completely different view. I mean, we're used to looking with our sonars and our fish finders straight down below us and seeing arcs and, you know, pods of fish or pods of bait or clouds of bait and seeing that and we've got in our minds what that all looks like. Now we've got this whole different view to look at. And, but what is interesting is, is in my use of it is that I've actually found it does draw more of a picture than even our down shooting sonar. So I think it won't take as long to get over that, that learning curve of, of, of uh, you know, seeing what's out off to the side especially. You know, it just gives you such a different view. You know, rocks start to look like rocks. Weeds look like weeds. A, 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 a log laying on the bottom looks like that. And so there's not quite as much interpretation and therefore uh, I think it will be a lot easier for consumers to pick up on and, and get to know and, and get to trust. I would tell them, you know, I'm a big guy who wants to know where the fish live. You know, I've always had the best sonars, I've always had the best fish finders. I even use a lot of underwater cameras so I can throw it down there. The beauty of this is, is you can quickly go around and, and look at spots without the hassle of like an underwater camera. It really is giving you that kind of view down there. So to me, a big part of, of fishing is finding the fish, finding where they live, and I think Structure Scan does that real easily, and it's just something that people should really go out and get one, because I know I love mine. <laughs>